Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for your uh, great work for uh, the whole planet. Uh, in response to Russia's campaign to influence the recent U.S. presidential election, the Obama administration imposed sanctions on a number of individuals and entities, including Russia's military intelligence service, the GRU, which ran the operation. One of the individuals designated under sanctions was Yevgeny Bogachev, a cyber crime kingpin whose criminal organization stole upwards of $100 million before it was taken down by the FBI and a global consortium of law enforcement agencies. In addition to theft, Bogachev also used his network of hundreds of thousands of hacked computers to search for sensitive intelligence relating to Georgia, Ukraine, and Syria. That suggests that he operated with impunity in Russia in exchange for working as an intelligence asset. It also raises troubling questions about Russian support or tacit acceptance of organized crime to support its intelligence gathering and cyber warfare objectives. Can you speak about the importance of the law enforcement cooperation that is necessary between the UN, between the EU and the United States in order to make sure uh, that we are properly policing uh, these areas that are very, very shady and in fact help to enhance the cyber war capacity uh, of Russia uh, in this effort that they are engaging in versus the West? Well, thank you for your question, Senator. I mean, I, I think a, a fairly consistent theme of this morning has been indeed our, our, uh, the fact that we are uh, working together uh, closely uh, on these issues, sharing information, comparing notes, and I hope that we will, we will continue to, to do so because this is, as you say, a, a common threat uh, where we need to uh, maximize the sharing and pooling of our information about what is happening and how we can uh, respond to it. Now, uh, is there a coordinated effort to amongst the EU to uh, ensure that there is a promotion of liberal democratic values in uh, its, its uh, member states, uh, given what has already happened with regard to the Russians uh, in their efforts, uh, not only in the United States, but uh, in countries within the EU? Is, is there something that's coordinated that, uh, that has had meetings amongst EU nations uh, towards pushing back on Russia? Well, I, th I think, uh, as I said, I, I think in answer to Senator Shaheen, on, for example, in the Western Balkans, this is an area where uh, we are very uh, uh, insistent as part of the uh, future membership process of those countries that indeed they have to subscribe to, to, to those very principles of democracy, rule of law, human rights. Those principles are enshrined in our basic treaties, the, the Lisbon Treaty and in the Charter on Fundamental Rights, and all our member states are committed to respecting and to taking forward those, those principles. So we, 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 they, are, they are, if you like, at the, at the, the core of, our, of the existence of the European Union. Okay, could you speak a little bit as well about this uh, offensive, defensive, nuclear weapons tension that has been rising uh, between Russia and the West uh, and the impact that that has upon accelerating uh, this, um, uh, this ever-increasing uh, uh, confrontation between Russia and the West? Well, I'm, I'm not sure, Senator, that I'm qualified to, to answer that question. It's not, it's not something that I, I follow in, in, in great detail. I mean, clearly, uh, the discussions between the nuclear powers on how to uh, avoid uh, 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 unnecessary confrontation or how to avoid uh, uh, the, the, you know, the, un, the unknown facts of... of, of, of uh, use or, or, or misuse. Uh, the issue of non-proliferation is, of course, something on which we work, we work closely. Uh, so we are, we are heavily engaged in, in, in all of these areas, but I'm, 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 I'm not going to, uh, I don't feel able this morning to, to give you more details. Okay, great. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.